Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Me? I'm feeling a little bit concerned because the internet or the Google security issue, which I spoke about last week, seems to be far more prevalent than I ever thought. I got more emails over the weekend from friends who have been infected by this. And it's not really a virus, it's a hack of some sort where people are getting access to other people's Gmail accounts, sending email under their name, which causes other people to click on it. It's a Trojan horse type thing where now you're infected. And those emails, well, I talk about it in this video here. I won't go into detail right now, but check out this video if you don't know about it and protect yourself from it, basically meaning don't open emails from people that say things like you have seven eye offline messages from me you should, or watch this video. What's concerning now is hearing back from you, I've heard from several of you that included in this uh, attack or perhaps related to it in some way is the fact that your Google contacts have been wiped out. You've lost all of your Google contacts and trying to figure out how to get them back. And if you haven't backed up your Google contacts, you're probably not going to be able to get them back. And now backing up things in our Google account, we tend to think of our Google account as a backup. So backing up things in our Google account, or say in Dropbox for that matter, aren't things that we necessarily think of doing, but it is something that we should think of doing. So a very short, very to the point video today on backing up your Google contacts. Do you know how to do it? If not, stick around today on Dotto Tech. All right. Backing up your Google contacts. It's really a very, very simple process. And uh, it's something that uh, that you can do in just a few seconds. Let me show you what happens. Is basically you just go under into your contacts in your Google account. So go from Gmail into your Google contacts and then you'll have a list of all of your contacts. There you've got just a few menu choices here at the very top of the screen. But the one you wanna go to is more and you want to go to export. It doesn't say backup it'll say export and then it asks what you want to export and in this particular case I want to export all of my contacts and then I choose what format I want to export them into and this is really simple it's you basically can choose Google CSV Outlook CSV or vCard now what Google is thinking here is you are exporting these contacts to import them into something else, but that's not what we're doing. We're importing them now to back them up in a, another location. So in this particular case, I'm just going to choose to export them to the Google CSV format because I'm going to want to re-import them back into Google if I happen to have an issue. So that's all you do is you choose that selection and then they will create a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will have a data structure that looks like this spreadsheet. Now I don't have any names in this, but you can see along the top, these are the fields that Google is exporting. Now I've shown you how to export into this format before because if you're repopulating, if you're uh, adding new names to your list and you don't know what fields to put them into, import them into, into uh, Google Contacts, I like to export a template like this and then I put on all the names and phone numbers under the proper headings before I import it in Google CSV format, which means it's got the proper data structure to import it back in. But the bottom line is if you export into this file structure for Excel or for any spreadsheet, then if you have an issue, you will be able to re-import all of your contacts back into your Google account just by doing the, the, the kind of the reverse of what we just did. Let me just show you how to do that. Let me go back. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Instead of doing export contacts, now we will go under the import menu and choose to import contacts. And then we will look for the file, the CSV file that we've backed up. Now, before I finish, where should you be backing these files up to? Certainly back them up onto your own computer's hard drive, back them up onto some sort of removable drive. Then it might be an, a good idea to drop the file it, into something like Dropbox or some other online service or put them, include them in your regular backup routine. It's something that will probably never happen, but if it does, you are gonna thank me so much. So be safe out there, folks. I hope you found this video to be useful. If you have, remember, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is, of course, please subscribe to this channel. Become a Dotto Tech subscriber. We send out videos on a regular basis that are of how-to and uh, do-it-yourself nature. 
Uh, the second thing you can do is sign up for our newsletter. We also do webinars on a variety of topics. You get information about all the webinars as well as a weekly digest of all of the videos that we've produced here on Dotto Tech. And the third thing is Dotto Tech is a community funded uh, channel. We are supported by you, our patrons, through a crowdfunding site called Patreon. If you're interested in making sure Dotto Tech continues for years to come, drop by our Patreon page and take a look at what's involved in becoming a patron of Dotto Tech. For as little as a dollar a month, you can ensure that we continue healthy with lots of great videos coming your way. Till next time, have fun storming the castle. Thank you.